fellow Scorpio, I'm Sammy Lane. This is going to be your reading from today, the 18th, until the 31st of May. My intention is that this will have at least some messages for the entire collective of Scorpio, but it may not resonate with all of you. Please take a second to like this video and subscribe and comment below if ever you see a card that resonates with you that helps to confirm for me and it helps others watching to confirm for them as well that they're not alone so first I'm going to get some of these Pleiadian messages <coughs> excuse me we're going to do some starseed oracle some ancestors and angels oracle and then we will move uh, actually to wisdom of the oracle and then we'll do some tarot about your love situation and We'll see about finances. Um, sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it all meshes together and it's just about your spiritual growth right now. <laughs> so we'll see. Thanks for watching. Let's get some messages here from the Pleiadians. This is the Shiji Oracle card deck. Tell me about Scorpio for the second half of May. Thank you, Spirit. What message does the Scorpio need for the second half of May? was trying to jump out okay take the time more than ever to work on yourself now more than take the time now more than ever to work on yourself I'm trying to get it to focus well one day I'll figure out how to focus Okay, give yourself the best care you can. In this way, you will also be giving your best to those around you in this realm and in all realms and to source itself and beyond because you are a part of a bigger collective than you realize. So now more than ever, Scorpio, you are going to be working on you. Let's get some from the Starseed Oracle. Up the best care you can. Working out, eating right, pampering yourself, spa day, lots of sleep, lots of meditation, read a book, your favorite movie. Work on you. So all water signs I feel like are healing right now. You got the love. Pisces got this too. You got the love. Hey Darian energy. Codependency and boundaries. Okay, so you guys are, could be healing from a past relationship where you have probably always been codependent in relationships. You know, many people will jump from one thing to the next and not even think about it. Okay, but it's catching up to us now. Uh, water signs. And we're always there and very spiritually in tune and, and psychic and there for other people and we're always taking on their emotions and all of that so now it's very clear that we need to be taking care of ourselves now Scorpio okay set firm boundaries watch for this codependency and wanting to be in a relationship or be around others or be with somebody that's not good for you or doing things that's not good for you just simply because you'd rather not be alone. This is the Angels and Ancestors deck. And even, I mean, some of you may not be alone, but you could just feel very alone. Um, others of you may just be working on codependency issues, abandonment issues, healing from your past, healing from your childhood. We're being asked to level up now, spiritually. 
And with Jupiter here, depending on where that is in your chart, you could definitely be healing past pain, surrounding family or the home, or what it is you want for your life, relationships. Thank you. We have Eagle. See from a higher perspective. And Fire Guardian. Cancer got this too. Ignite your passions. Okay, so we gotta find something. You probably already know because you're very creative and in tune what it is that you're passionate about. Okay, and we need to see this from a higher perspective. Scorpio, this healing that you're doing is vital to everybody, not just you. So let's look at this Wisdom of the Oracle. Tell me about Scorpio from now till May. Yep, from now till May 31st. <laughs> Higher power. Bow show number four. Higher power. If this isn't the same thing as see from a higher perspective, okay, this is really relying on your guides and your guardians in your higher nature, your more spiritual nature for the rest of this month. Let's see if there's another Wisdom of the Oracle card for you, Scorpio. From now till May 31st, what does Scorpio need to focus on? Number 24. I know I keep showing you this like you can read it and then it doesn't focus. I have to be really still and I can't. Anyway, higher power and time for a nap. So let's read them real quick. Number four. This is a really beautiful card if you can see the picture. Can you see it? I think the camera's trying to focus. Anyway, conscious contact with a higher power. Wow, so you guys are really reaching out. You're making contact. You're hearing spirit. You're hearing your guides and guardians. You're connecting through dreams, maybe. You're connecting through symbols and animals and synchronicity. So you are consciously contacting, reaching out for this healing. I can feel you guys. The presence of the divine. Seeing source energy in all things and committing to a partnership with spirit. Wow. This is so amazing. This is a really a blessing for you. If this is what you're doing this month, I really hope that you are. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all and how can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You're always protected and divinely directed. Ain't that the truth, Scorpio? And you guys know it. You know, you really feel that connection. Very spiritual, very psychic sign. Very in tune emotionally. And a lot of times, Scorpio don't even know they're psychic. And I don't even know how that you wouldn't know that. It's, I think it's just so so much a part of you since birth that you don't even realize that like most people don't have that you guys are so psychic and in tune and and more than just thinking it more than just knowing you feel it you feel others heavily and that is your superpower seriously 
time for a nap. Rest, rejuvenation, and renewal. Temporary non-action. Allowing dreams to arise. This is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, your desires. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back, take a seat, and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. So let spirit take over. Let spirit guide you. Allow this time to ignite your passions and see from spirit's perspective, this higher perspective. As you heal right now, you're letting go of these codependency issues and setting firm boundaries. And sometimes setting boundaries just means I need space. I'm staying in tonight. I'm cooking myself, you know, some hot soup and taking a bath and calling it a night. Don't call me. I'm taking a nap. You know, that's a firm boundary. Because Spirit is saying you need this self-care right now. You need to allow this time for healing. Because whether you know it or not, the collective is reliant on you. Okay, Scorpio, I mean, they're reliant on all of us, but they're very reliant on you when it comes to emotional depth and spirituality and transmutation of those emotions. Well, let's get some tarot. Spirit, please tell us about Scorpio. From now to May 31st, Scorpio energy. From now to May 31st. What are they working on? What have they been dealing with? You guys are really keeping to yourselves. Okay. There's an ending here. Ten of Wands. This became too heavy. Okay, this is a fiery thing. This could have been a passion project. This could have been a relationship. This could have been something that you've been working on, putting effort towards. Uh, something that's creative for you. Or just something that was very stressful for you, okay? It was burdensome. It got too heavy. And it, this is something that's ending. Ten is completion. So this is going to be over for you. There's actually, thank you, Spirit, thank you. And I do take cards that fall on the floor. I know not everybody does, but I do. <clears throat> okay, we have this page of cups. Coming in, this could be another water sign, or this could be you. And then we have the Empress. Okay. So let's see here. I think something has gotten too heavy for you. I'm feeling that this is emotionally. I mean, A, because you're Scorpio. But B, we have this page of cups here. Who, who's trying to come in and talk? So whether this is you wanting to communicate or you're waiting on someone to come in, this is something you're letting go, I feel, because, because there's a lack of communication. This person may decide to come towards you later, um, but I feel like you're not going to be having it because this is the Empress. Oh, whoa, side note, I just got a message that if you've been trying to have a baby, that is very possible for you. Or you may be getting news that somebody is pregnant. Okay, not done with that message. That goes to the side. So, two things with this. Okay, this is either this shit is getting too heavy, 
I'm ready to let it go, but I'm going to push this one last time as hard as I can and try to push through and make it happen for myself. So for some people, it's like not giving up, no matter how hard it, how hard it is. And then for others, this is definitely, this is too much to bear. I can't take this weight, so I'm going to have to lay this down. Okay, and then that is representative of a completion. So take it how it resonates, Scorpio, but definitely somebody here wants to talk. And whether this is you, it could be you because this is representative of water. Or anybody else could be co coming in towards you. <clears throat> wanting to talk could be Pisces because there's a little fish in there. Somebody could be coming towards you wanting to talk or needing to apologize. Um, but this is a message of love. It's an emotional communication. So whether you're wanting this or someone actually does this, uh, only you know that. But here we have the Empress, and I feel like this is you. I'm going to get a few more cards, but I really feel like someone comes in to talk to you after something has ended. And you're like, no. <laughs> I'm more concerned with my money, with my material wealth, with my hotness, with my manifestations and attracting what I want. Okay, for others of you something ended and you want to talk to an empress. It could be Taurus energy um, or it could be Aries energy when you think about the creation phases of manifestation. We have King of Pentacles on the bottom so that could be you. You could have Earth in your chart or you could have been dealing with the King of Pentacles which would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Tell me more about Scorpio, please. From now till May 31st. What is Scorpio dealing with? Someone may try to offer you something, okay? And it's like, the, it just got too heavy. And you just rather go off and create something new. Yeah, a tower came in, so whether you, a tower moment is transformative, and sometimes it's tough, but it ends up better, okay? The tower always brings in something better. So if something was really crappy, like this, and you were just dealing with a page like this, not a king, but a little baby page who's not on your level, who's immature, who tries to give little love messages but really doesn't back it up with action or, you know, like showing it stability-wise. There was a tower that came in and there was heartbreak. So the situation could have ended because it was just too much. And now you're in this Empress energy, I feel. Um, for some of you, back to that pregnancy note, somebody could have found out that their spouse was seeing somebody else or had gotten somebody else pregnant, God forbid. I hope that wasn't true for you guys, but I'm just, I gotta say it because it's in my head. Okay, but something definitely came in. The tower came in and destroyed everything. Now we have this heartbreak, but somebody, somebody's still trying to fight for this thing or somebody's still trying to protect this relationship. Otherwise, you're very guarded and trying to protect yourself right now. Scorpio, you're healing from heartbreak. Okay, for okay, I'm just getting another sideline here. Some of you ended a relationship that was very stressful. It took a toll on you emotionally and you've been getting other offers. You've been getting other people coming to you, noticing that you're single, perhaps. Okay? But they don't understand that you're healing. You have your guard up towards anybody else coming towards you now. And that's fine. You are definitely healing. You have to take care of yourself. Become this empress, male or female. Take care of yourself. Pamper yourself. Get your hair done. Don't worry about anybody else. The empress is abundant. She gets anything that she wants. Okay. It's fine if this is you with your guard up. You are still healing from a heartbreak, okay? And this was something that you weren't expecting. This was like shocking, okay? The tower can sometimes be very surprising. 
So let's see what else. Tell me about the future. What can Scorpio expect by the end of this month? What is Scorpio calling in by May 31st? You guys do need to be careful. Okay, everyone needs to be careful of the Mercury retrograde coming in the 29th. We also have Saturn putting a stop to everything coming up here really soon, actually. I think 22nd or 23rd. And then we have a lunar eclipse, total eclipse, full moon in Sagittarius on the 26th. So we're going to be having a lot of ups and downs for the rest of this month. Okay, Scorpio. For those of you who are females, you may be just protecting yourself, nurturing yourself. If you're a mother, you're caring for your kids, you're caring for those around you, you're doing what's necessary on a daily basis, but I feel like, honestly, you're barely doing it. I feel like you feel that you need to, and so you're pushing yourself to do this, but you need to care for you right now. Queen of Pentacles is grounded, she's nurturing, she's wifey. She's wifey material. Okay, some of you males, you, you're getting offers from from potential wifeys okay and or you're calling in this wifey material who's nurturing and grounded and abundant and and caring and loving and great mother type figure but obviously nobody can have this full Queen of Pentacles, full Empress embodiment until this pain is healed. And that's why Spirit is being so clear that it's time for you to focus on your higher power. Connect to Spirit so you can be guided towards your passions, towards a new, a new path for yourself. Letting go of codependency and setting firm boundaries in relationships. Pampering yourself. And taking a damn nap, Scorpio. You have to take care of yourself. Sometimes these motherly duties, you know, get in the way. And that's not for all of you. But some of you are mothers. And, you know, having kids can be draining. You're always putting them first. You're always doing what they need. And you come last. Spirit is saying, for once, Scorpio, put yourself first. On the bottom we have two of pinnacles, okay, trying to plan, trying to figure out what's going to be best here, pros and cons, and in order to do that you're definitely going into hermit mode or you've already been in hermit mode. Other than that you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay, um, or calling in a Virgo for yourself, but we have Taurus energy here, we have all the earth signs here, fire, air. And Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this is someone trying to weigh it out. You're worried about your money. Not in a bad way, but just like, what's going to be the best for me financially? Weighing it out, pros and cons. And going through this hermit mode, going, taking this time alone, meditating, sleeping more, treating yourself, caring for yourself, brings in the clarity that you need. So you get this clarity by the end of this month. You get this epiphany. Now don't get it confused when Mercury retrogrades and tries to get you to look back to the past. That clarity moment needs to come before the 29th. If it comes after, you really need to think. Think, think, think about this past situation because I'm hoping for you this clarity, this epiphany is that you have this whole new life ahead of you. You have this higher power. You have these passions that, that you're igniting. You have this knowledge coming in, this wisdom. By you taking the time to yourself and healing yourself, you get this clarity. It seems like you're going to be very attractive. You're going to have everything that you need. You're going to have to fight people off of you, honestly. And, and you're so loving and caring and very sexual, you're gonna want to be around people. So it may be hard for you, Scorpio, to be fighting people off. You're like, look, I need to heal right now. And don't be ashamed to say that. 
Most people are afraid to say that when in reality they need to be saying that, you know? Most people need to be doing the healing. So we're going to finish with this star card here. I'm going to pull two more angel cards, but this is Aquarius energy. This is enlightenment. This is the seven stars of the Pleiades. This is the Pleiadian message. Take care of yourself and you take care of the collective. Listen to your higher guides and you become the star. You become the enlightened one. See, it's the same star here. They're connected. By going within, you are fully enlightened. Connected to your higher power. And then the star literally is the star. You could have anything you want. It's wish fulfillment. So take this time out. Spirit is saying you will be rewarded if you just treat yourself kindly. Take the time out. Connect to spirit. Find what, what lights you up and what you're passionate about. And you will get everything that you want. Wish fulfillment, enlightenment, and healing. This is healing. Healing through understanding and enlightenment. This is beautiful. And we have cherry on the bottom. So some of you are taking a brand new leap in a new direction. You're taking control back of your life. And it's going to feel really good. For others of you, you could have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with the cancer. Let's pull two of these angel cards and then we will close. Tell me about Scorpio for the second half of May. Oh. oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. What's this one? Oh shit, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, we have change in direction. Obvious, right? Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. You're definitely moving in a new direction here. Okay, once this healing is done, once you can connect to your higher power and see from this higher perspective, really taking care of yourself you start igniting these passions within you i wish i could pick these up you start igniting these passions within you you could also have fire in your chart or dealing with a fire sign i just noticed that okay and then this leads you to this change in direction let's read it the changes you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Wow! And we have be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Literally. Literally. Angels' wings. Or eagles' wings. But when you connect to this higher power and you're honest with yourself, that you need this time. You really need to work on this healing for your future, for your future love, for your future career, for your kids in the future, for whatever you got going on on this new path and these new passions and this higher connection that's coming in for you. Some of you may be going through spiritual awakening. Some of you may be noticing for the first time synchronicities and symbols and, and signs and animal messages and things coming to you. This is a very important transformation for you, Scorpio. I did the water signs, uh, Pisces and Cancer before you, and you're all letting go of something, transforming and healing, and getting ready to be uplifted and up-leveled to a brand new path. So this is beautiful. You've got a change in direction coming. You have to remember to be honest with yourself, okay, about these codependent issues and about your boundaries. It's very easy for Scorpio to blur their boundaries when it comes to the emotions of others. 
you take on other people's energy, you give your energy away freely, you got to take care of yourself better and stop taking on people's toxicity too. Okay, now more than ever, work on yourself. This is so important. Give yourself the best care that you can. And this way you'll also be giving the, your best to those around you and in other realms to source itself and beyond because you are a part of the bigger collective. Wow. This was beautiful, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.